Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and here's a little exercise that you might enjoy that's kind of cool and fun. And I was just playing this morning, so I came up with this, and this is really easy to do. As you can see, it's just made up of lines. And all I did was take a square box, hold down the control button, and then I rounded off the edges with my ratio lock to two inches. Whoop, not 20 inches, two inches. And then I control D'd and I rotated it 10 degrees. And then control D, control D till you get to the, where they're even. Now, if I haven't already, I'm gonna hit P, put them in the center of the page. And I'm gonna go down and bring it down an indexing line and hit P, put that in the center of the page. And then I'm going to take my smart field tool and this time I'm going to do it in a black because I want to really do this for a laser engraver that would look pretty cool. And I'm just going to fill in all the parts like that. Now we, we don't have to do this, but I'm going to nudge this out of the way and I'm going to go to object and combine it. So now it's all one piece. I'm going to get my interactive field tool and I'm going to, go from one side to the other, and you could actually change it up a little bit and uh, change your angles, but then you could change with your colors and make them darker or lighter. And, you know, there's a lot of stuff you could do. Uh, we're gonna just kind of leave it like this. You can see how I made it a little darker up top. And then just nudge that back over. And then because it's 10 degrees, we can rotate it 10 degrees. And then actually this one, I'm gonna use um, step and repeat. Well, I'm not step and repeat. Um, go to Windows, Dockers, and use uh, transformation and use the rotation. And I'm gonna click on it and make it into, into the center Click on it again, make sure it's in the center, which not. Sometimes if you don't hit that X, so we're in the center. So I'm gonna rotate it 10 degrees and I want 35 of them. We've already got one. And then just take and right click no outline and you have a twisted reef that you could, I mean, I'm not saying you'll ever make one of these, but it's, it's a pretty cool effect, and I think it would engrave pretty cool, because I actually think it would engrave. And then if I was gonna engrave this, I'd probably engrave it in a 3D mode and actually convert it to a bitmap to kind of fuzzy it up a little bit. But with a smart fill, you can make it any size you want. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.